Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be playing Fafnir. I'm just banning mages like, you know, I always do because I, I hate mages. Um, Fafnir is kind of a mage though, to be fair. I got a new mic that came in today. However, it might not sound that great. Like, it's probably going to pick up on my mouse or my keyboard. And that's mainly because I don't have the set up, the mic stand set up yet. Um, it's shipped in two different parts. So I got the stand, but I didn't get the actual part that attaches to the mic. So that sucks, but I figure I might as well use it and see how it sounds compared to my old mic. I mean, it's probably going to sound worse, to be honest, because it's going to pick up on everything. But, you know, uh, Fafnir is really good in duel. His early game is basically don't die. Don't get first blooded. Don't die. And even if you do die, just clear the wave. You're not going to be able to clear the wave, really. Just get the archers. Um, against Kali, ouch. But his late game, oh, Fafnir's late game, it's better than Ymir's. Fafnir's late game is so crazy. His one shreds protections. You, you go Spear the Magus, you destroy with this god. Also, with the thing about this mic is I have it in front of me, and I, I, can, like, I can't see my keyboard at all. So, like, I don't know. Usually, I'm used to seeing my keyboard. Okay, let's see. So, we're going to go this, we're going to go this. We're gonna go this, uh, this, oh, yeah. So Mage's Blessing helps Fafnir's clear, and it also gives him a lot of mana, because he has a heal, right? So he can stay in lane for quite a while, except for his mana, and Mage's Blessing keeps that. Um, we can go a Bracer against Kali, we can go Bees, we can go Aegis, we can go Blink. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go Bees, because if I can Bees, like, she goes in the, to my tower, and I Bees her stun, and I just ult, I can mute her entire alteration, pretty much. Okay, on Fafnir, I like to level up the 1 twice and the 3 once. Because if you go 1, 2, 3, you clear a tiny bit faster, but use all your mana. And for the most part, you're not going to be able to clear. You're going to be able to, like, take the archers. But Callie, Callie can't really clear that much either, because, you know, she runs out of mana too. Yeah, so I took the archers. Actually, I cleared pretty fast because she was late, so now I can just kind of hammer her down. Also, Fafnir's base techs are pretty slow. He can still auto attack cancel, but it's like, why? See, like, I could use my hammer for poke, right? But at the same time, it has a 15 second cooldown. I'd rather use it on the wave. Hopefully she doesn't block it, yeah. If your opponent's blocking the hammer, uh, probably just use the hammer on the archers if you can. I should use my three on archers here, but that's okay. I'm actually keeping up with her clear, which is nice. Try and apply the extra damage of both minions. Okay, I might use my one for damage here. So yeah, so a base tech one. Just do a couple base techs and get out. So there's a bug with Fafnir right now where if you use his three close range, it sometimes won't do damage. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this game, but it can. So once you get the two, you can kind of play like this. Oh. I should give use my 3 actually because I don't have enough mana for my 1. Never mind, don't clear like that. <laughs> as I say, not as I do. Okay, she's about to get to level 5. Okay. Okay, alright, alright. Alright. Usually it's Fafnir, you, you're the first one to back. But if she backs here, we get a red buff. Okay, this is going to be. This is going to be a, a little bit hard to take. Yeah, so use your 2, 3, 1. Base attack it down and hope she doesn't come back fast enough. Fafnir's buff clear is pretty bad, but luckily, you know, she can't come back instantly. Okay, we'll just back here. I have my three if she sees me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm going to Bancroft start because without Bancrofts, uh, Fafnir's clear. He can't clear. He doesn't have enough damage. If you don't get Mage's Blessing or you don't get Bancrofts, you're not going to be able to clear. Like, even once his 1 is maxed, you have to use your 2 and 1 in order to clear it, and it sucks. That's okay, we're about that late game, just like Kelly. I feel like our late game can beat Kelly's late game, which is kind of dumb, considering how strong Kelly's late game is. Just like Kelly's early game, you know, she still has damage. And Fafnir has damage, just that his cooldowns are long, you know? We actually poke her a little bit here. I, I could use my 1 and ult because her escape's down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to you want to stun them in the alt because that does so much damage. I'm able to get a good kill here before she pops her alt. Nice. So I CC chained her so she couldn't uh, 
Should, oh, I didn't even answer her. I thought I did. I, I must have answered her in my head. I'm an idiot. I, I, I didn't see these messages. But I CC chained her there. Um, so she couldn't ult. And even if she did ult, I think we would have been okay. Alright. Let's just back. We're out of mana. Without Mage's Blessing, this Fafnir... Fafnir used to be kind of bad in... Uh, in season four because sands of time gave him mana but it didn't give him enough damage to actually clear the wave whereas mage's blessing the extra ability damage gives him just enough like damage it's nice oops guys yeah, see i'm still not i'm still not one shotting the archers also his passives helps if you're like if the, if the tower hits it, you're still not going to get the gold or the passive. But, like, let's say they're shoving minions under the tower early game, because, you know, your early game sucks. You can still, uh, you can still get your gold, you know, back because you're, uh, you're killing some minions outside tower. So his passive helps out quite a bit. Also, he has, like, like, he has a nice poke. I, I put the one on instant cast. I think it's the easiest way to hit it. I, when I use it, I think of it like a base stack, like a hunter base stack. That's how I think of it to hit it. I'm like, I'm gonna hit this base stack, and it's faster than base stack, I think. So it's easy, easier to hit, and it has a bigger hitbox. Okay, she might alt here or run out. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage. The one base stack three does a nice amount of damage, but it's it's punishing if you you know because your escape will be down. So if you if you feel like they can turn around on you, just don't use a three, because otherwise you're gonna be forced to alt or you're just gonna die. I'd say Fafnir's biggest weakness is his cooldowns, which is why we're gonna go full cooldown. We're probably gonna go breastplate after boots. If she leaps here, we can kill her, but I don't think she's going to. Okay, so she fully cleared those. And you just use the two for uh use the two for that uh that heal. The self heal's nice. Did it get buffed? I think it got buffed. Okay, so we she might leap here. If she leaps here, we can kill her. Nope. She's saving that escape. Oh, I thought I would hit her too. Okay, our one is max now. It'll start clearing archers now, but not melees. Oh, if my one was up, I could kill her. But nope, cooldowns are too high. I can maybe like force her all, actually. I'm I'm aggressive player. Or force her to run away. Either aura works for me. Let's see if she leaps on me, I just ult. Okay, I kinda wanna go for red buff, not blue buff. Although blue buff's really good on Fafnir. Um, I just rather, you know. She just used her escape. She's dead. If I hit this hammer, she's dead. So we really gotta hit this hammer. Like bad. I wanna get close to her first. No, she's not dead. I don't have enough mana. I shouldn't have used my leap, actually. Shouldn't have used my leap, because now I can't ult. Oh, she got used her ult. She used her ult. She... My three might do enough damage to kill her. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have used my three, but I feel like I would have missed. Oh, that does so much damage. How much did that hit for? 148? Nice. I think it was like the exact amount. How much does it scale? Yeah, pretty much the right amount. I had more respect than that. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I can't take a buff. With this much mana, I cannot take a buff. Maybe I can clear it and run away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ouchie. Yep, maybe shouldn't have stayed there. Okay, she's gonna take my buff. Maybe if I back fast enough, I get red buff, though, so... I like cooldown boots on Fafnir, because max cooldown on him. All of your kill potential, I know I've killed her a couple of times out of my ult, but all of Fafnir's kill potential is in his uh, his ult, his ultimate. Oh, I missed. Missing the hammer is so bad as Fafnir. If you miss the hammer, it's really bad, because like I can't do anything. Her escape's down right now. Might be able to do something. She's out of mana, she's out of mana, so she can't leap. Use the tick damage to see where she is. Did I miss that? How did I miss that? Okay, just wait for her ult. So I, I have 15 seconds until I transform down. My three will be up. Oh, she's running away though. Alright, alright. 
I'm greedy, I'm greedy. I got this. Oh. <laughs> Not even close. I thought I thought she had more time on the back. Dang it. I would have hit her. I was right on the spot. I need to leap out here. Does she have hasten? Okay, she doesn't have hasten. I'm okay. Could have taken red buff, maybe. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever. Alt's up in 50 seconds. Yeah, it's not going to be up in time. So, well, she's kind of low, and I know her ult is down, too. I'm going to stay. Simply because I have quite a bit of poke, and I can get out with my one. I can just keep poking like that. Okay, whatever. I want to use my three, but then I'd be a sitting duck, right? I'd be a sitting duck with that. Okay, I'm pushing wave. All it's up in 20 seconds. Okay, we can get a little bit of tower damage here. So one thing about Fafnir... Oh, this is one reason I want to do a Fafnir video commentated. Guys, this is a really cool mechanic with Fafnir. Is that you can... Uh, Spear the Mages, you can remove a tower's protections. Oh, excuse me. You can move tower's protections with Spear of the Mages. So you use your two, right? And it's your damage. And it since it can hit, it's an ability that can hit a tower. So it can strip its protections. Spear of the Mages. I guess that's how it works. Both can do it too. I don't know about Freya. I don't know if Freya can do it. Because maybe Freya can do it with a demonic and spear. I have no idea. I kind of explain the tower push that Freya has. If it does work like that. My ult's up, so we have high kill potential right now. Even though she has all her ult. We can always just use our ult to mute her ult. If we can force it out. And I have breastplate now, so look at my cooldowns. I'm about to get my hammer again. And it ha like half helps her, because she's so squishy. Okay, just immune the ult. Now we just chase. Ooh, am I going to be in range? If she's juking, I'll actually, actually be in range. Nope. Uh, if she ran a straight line, she was out of range, but since she was juking, I was thinking maybe. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, I panicked, I panicked. I missed my three. Oh, nice, I still got her. I, I was spamming my relics. I accidentally... I, I was spamming my G rather than... Uh, what do you call it? I was spamming my shower rather than my beads. And I didn't get out right away. And then I missed my three because of it. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll take... Is this up? I think she took it, right? Yeah, I'll take. I'll go take my blue buff. So we're surprisingly doing really good in the early game. Fafnir, usually you gotta like sit under tower. I don't, I don't like that about Fafnir, but the late game is so rewarding. Basically, once you get spear, it's you you have your build online. I'm actually gonna sell mages blessing for spear because it's so so good. Um, she's going a couple of different items at once, which you know. Um, um, maybe. Aegis, Sprint, or Beads. Sprint can be helpful in case I go Gem Viso, because if I go Gem Viso and she doesn't have Sprint, it's going to suck, but if she has you know, the Soul Meat all. The Aegis, just because of the Fafnir's burst damage in his ult. Look at that. Look at that. One thing is people like to build Polynomicon on Fafnir. I don't think you should do that because Poly doesn't... When you go in your ultimate, Poly will not trigger on the ultimate. Here, we can... Okay, just immune her ult. This, that's a pretty nice counter. I got her. Okay, let's get out. Oh, I'm so dead. 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 If that Titan wasn't chasing me at that angle, I could have probably ran around and then uh, got my two and leaped out. But since the Titan was chasing, there was, and I, I only could take one more hit. Maybe once I got out of the fountain, I could have ran around like that and then leaped out. I don't know. Either way, I still think that's worth it because I think my late my late game's stronger. Uh, what else was I saying? Oh, beads is good because Fafnir's ultimate has such a strong CC chain. I think I am going to go double defense to be safe. No, I actually will go mid garden because she has hastened. Fafnir's self peel, when his hammer is down, he has like no self peel. He just can leap away. And since Callie with hastened, she can just, 
She's, she can force out my ult just by left clicking and uh, chasing me. I'll have to ult in order to get away from her. So Midgarden's actually the play here. Looks like she did get beads. Okay. I used to be number one Fafnir, but then I lost a couple of dumb matches where I'm, I was just being an idiot. Like, I missed abilities and... Uh, and then also I had a few games where I disconnected. Like, there I had a game against Hades. I was finally starting to come back in the game. Disconnected, he took my Phoenix and Titan. I was pretty salty about that. That was on stream. Okay, she does have pace in. Yeah, I'm just going to ult here because leaping away is not going to do anything. She's just going to leap it. Well, I could have baited her, maybe. If I leaped away. Look at that damage. Look look at that damage because of spear. Okay, well maybe we can bait her with this. Oh, I had my two to heal. Oh, I had my two to heal, rip. That's why we need big guardian, probably. She went no, because she was in her ultimate. Yeah, I would have died there even if I had mid guardian. So what I should have actually done instead was leap away, and then when she leaped on me, ult it, and she would have taken the damage from my ult. That's probably would have been the play. Yeah. Oh well. Because I was thinking of how to get her off me, but um, it would have done the same thing, except I would have been farther from her Phoenix too. It would have been way better to fight. So it looks like she's starting to catch up. I mean, late, yeah, Kali's late game is strong. Maybe it's probably stronger than Fafnir's, let's be honest. Do I want to go Gem Viso though? I don't know. Just clearing the way. Yeah, I was gonna say she better not back there. Oh, did she actually? Did she actually have time to back there? Oh, I thought I could have stopped her. I thought I did stop her. Uh oh. Okay, let's see if we. Can... Yeah, the mid guardian. Mid guardian helps. There we go. She. The ultimate does quite a bit of damage. <gasps> I missed the one. Okay, I'm getting out. I missed the one. Oh, we might die. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Use two to heal. Probably re-engage. What? I missed! Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. I missed the, I missed the ability. I was going to stun her. I was hoping to kill her before her ultimate went off. Alright, change of plan. Last item... Oh, this is going badly now. Okay. Okay, she can take. She's not gonna take my phoenix. Why is she not taking my phoenix? She's gonna take my phoenix. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, could go soul reaver. Could go divine ruin. Oh, she's going for that. Or I could go for celestial. More defense. Triple defense. Celestial is a hybrid item, though. I love celestial. Gem Viso could be good too though. But the thing is that her ult's slow immune, right? So it's not gonna really help too much. The mid guardian helps for when she's on me, but you know. She she would have to use her ultimate in order to chase me just because of mid guardian. Okay, we're gonna have to play defensively. This is kinda funny. I had the good early game and now I'm having a bad late game. That's so rare with Fafnir. I still feel like it's not it's not over at all. Nice back and forth though. Maybe I should have leaped out in that last fight, but it's fine. The l longer this game goes, the more I think. Okay. Oh, I, I ult tap, I ult tap. Oh god. Oh my god, I ult tapped. I'm an idiot. Oh, please tell me we're two down. Oh no. What happened? I actually clicked on Discord. This. Why did I actually click on Discord? Okay, I don't know why that happened. That was weird, and then I refocused the game, but I, I could only move side to side. I couldn't really move up and down. Was that game? That'd be, that would suck so much to lose like that. <laughs> that would suck so much to lose like that. Is it 10 seconds? Alright, alright. I have one more chance. One more chance to redeem myself. Nemean might be where it's at. She only has one defense. 
Like, how much is she doing with base decks? Yeah. Nimian would reflect what? I don't know. It's 20%? I have no idea. I don't think we reflect that much. Oops. Wait, did you not die? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna want to place wards just in case of a backdoor. Also, wards are just helpful to know where your opponent is. That's kind of funny. Oh, uh oh. Oh, this is bad. Maybe I should get Gemliso. Okay. Please don't kill me. 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 Alright, we got her. We got her. I should use my leap. Nice. Slam dunked her. If I missed that and she stunned me and used her too, that would have been such a horrible way to die. Uh, Yeah, my minions are pretty far away. I say we kill this before we de-transform. Oops. Oh, no, I missed. The dragon reminds me of Yurka's castle. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> It reminds me of Pete, the magic dragon. That's what it reminds me of. Thank you. And I don't know that. Okay. Nope. 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 We're behind. We're behind. We have like no mana as Fafter. There's no way we're going to be able to win that fight. We're, there's no way we're going to be able to take Phoenix. And my Phoenix is already down, right? I And red buff's down. There's no, there's no downside to running away here. Whereas the upside of staying is basically just only death. <laughs> this is like no way I'd, I'd be able to top player. Okay, right, so now I have power potion. So now I have 40% cooldown. Also upgrade my relics. Have I been using beads that much this game? I don't even remember. I think beads is good against Kali, but sometimes I'm really bad with my beads. This is a long game, huh? 20 minutes? I just use my escape like an idiot. That means her, uh, her stun too. CC chain her so she can't- oh, nice. So if she doesn't go defense, I can just do that to prevent her from, uh, from ulting. Yeah, it is a long CC chain. And the one strips protection, so hitting the three is easier, but hitting the one, you do more damage. So it's kind of like, what do you want to do? Do you want to guarantee the stun with the three, because three is easier to hit? But the nice thing about using the one, too, also, is because if you miss the... If you miss the one, you can always just leap out, you know? Like, if you're like, oh, I missed the one, I'm gonna die here. You can leap out. Whereas if you use the three and you miss the three, you're in trouble. Oh, look, look. Oh, I, I forgot to show it. Dang it. But you can actually strip the protections. I'll have to show it next time. I wasn't looking at the damage numbers. But the Spear and Mages was working. Oh, she got that. She got Mages Blessing. Oh, but she sold her uh, Anso. Mages Blessing gives way less defense. Like, way less defense. When did she take Fire Giant, by the way? No idea. Zero clue. <gasps> oh my god, do not take that. Are you serious? Oh, are you so dead? Oh no, I used my... Oh, she better not get out. Ah. Uh. Did you really do that? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna be able to catch up to her. I shouldn't have used my three. I should have been able to at least kill her there. That was bad of me. Should have been easy to punish her, especially since my Phoenix came up. That was just dumb of me. I really didn't think she would just go straight for it, to be honest. I don't know why I expect anything less, though. Let's get red buff. We can fight her so easy with red buff. That was pretty dumb of me. That was probably the worst part, uh, worst thing I've done this game. Okay, so her page is busting us up. We want to proc that as, as soon as I can. Okay, I got her mage's busting. I might just untransform here. Yeah, honestly, if she's just running away, just untransform. Put it back on cooldown. Because it does the cooldown timer doesn't start until you untransform. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Uh, can almost afford 3k pot, but our potion is running a little bit low, so I'm gonna buy one of these first. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I mean, her phoenix is almost dead too, so if I can kill her... Oh, we should get a potion. I'm gonna get wards. I don't want to leave without wards because, uh, backdoor. Now that we know, she went straight for phoenix, so I she'll probably go straight for titan. Warding is probably the best thing to do here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, get out. If you miss, yeah, see, if I, I missed the one, I got out with my three. So that's why I like using the one first. Plus, it's more rewarding if you hit it. Uh, I'm gonna have to use this on that. Probably gonna have to alt here. I don't know, it depends. A mage's blessing is surprisingly helpful, but I mean, she's so squishy, right? She's so easy to kill. I don't think she has anywhere to go. Oh, nice jukes, nice jukes. My kid's almost up again. I thought I'd transform in 20 seconds. There we go. She can ult. Even if she did beads and then ult, I'm, like, I'm at full health. Like, there's no way she could turn around and kill me there. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, next, when I'm taking the Phoenix, I gotta show the damage numbers. That's because that's, that's the entire reason I wanted to do this match, is to show the Spear of the Mages on the Phoenix. And I didn't even show it last when I was attacking. This is a good game, though, really back and forth. Like, I'm ahead in kills, but she's ahead in, like, structures. I love this skin, by the way. This is the best skin ever. Wow, I suck at clearing wave. Wow, I'm actually not gonna be able to take her Phoenix because her fireman is just killing the wave. Oh, is this almost up? Mm, I can stay for this. I can stay for this. We'll clear wave and then we'll just go for red buff. Hopefully she doesn't stop us. I mean, my ult's ready in 20 seconds. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, great. This minion's falling. Yeah, I hate when minions fall. Now she's... Yeah, she's here. Let's proc her... Her mage. Uh oh Okay, be careful. She's so dead here. Her escape's down and everything. Oh, maybe not. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, 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 okay. I have my leap in seven seconds. I can kill her. I can kill her. Let's ward. Oh no, she's actually gonna get out because she's so fast. Dang it. Alright, whatever. That sucks. I probably missed like one tick of dragon breath or something and she was able to get out there. But look how much gold I have. I have 4,000 gold. <laughs> Why didn't I back last time? Oh my god, we're gonna get so much criticism. I have 4,000 gold, almost 5,000 gold. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to switch to Gem Viso, honestly. I could switch to Mid Guardian for Gem Viso. Give me more damage. However, when my kit's down, she could just run ham kill me if I don't have mid guardian so we're both at late game right I'm, I'm winning the fight so I'd say factors late game is better except she keeps going for that and I I don't stop her I don't know why oh I missed that that's bad I'm out. I hate that she does that. She she makes me all and then runs away. But, I mean, it's the right thing to do. Could get a divine room for a bracer too. Got her! Oh, she can't! Oh, oh she can't! Oh, uh oh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. Yeah, it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, I was trying to untransform me too. Oh, that was so close. I think we win. I think we win. I have 3k pot, regular power potion, 
And I, uh... And look at this. So, the first hit... 99, 103, 108, 113. Yeah, the Spirit Mage just works. It's awesome. And since he has attack speed, he can actually do it. Um, do we win, though? I can strip the Titan's protections, too. Uh, man, I'm not gonna win. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Oh my god, I can't win. Oh my god. Ah, this game, though. Alright, she, she has to deal with fire minions. Like, she has to clear the fire minions, right? If she goes straight for me, she's gonna lose the game. Maybe. It's not worth it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. She got pretty low. I've t I've dragon for twenty seconds. What's she doing? What's she doing? Why why'd she do that? I could have killed her. I thought she DC'd or something. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know, I guess she just gave up. I mean, yeah, I was gonna take it no matter what, right? GG, that was nice back and forth. I got such a good game early game and then oh whoops, I accidentally hit my mic. And you know. That was a really good game. I like it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a couple of tricks with Fafnir. Fafnir is the god the tier 5 deserved. Or the tier 5 that we deserve. But we didn't get it. Fafnir would have been such a great tier 5. Better than the rest of the gods. But oh well. Also let's see what we got in this chest. Because we're not. Ooh XP boosters. Oh boy. But yeah. And then I also love his victory screen right. Everything about Fafnir I love. Um, I think he can sometimes be a little bit better than Ymir, but his early game is bad, whereas Ymir can run rampant and take buffs and stuff, right? But Fafnir's late game is way better because he has mobility, he's got a 100 and 0 combo, he has CC, he has a heal, which he has over Ymir. Um, and that leap for the most part. And of course he can take structures way faster. But I hope you all learned something, especially that little, you know, tower trick. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the game and have a great day. See you guys.